Hello folks and welcome back to Cisco Baltic Edition. You know, some time ago together with Timo Jolkin here, we did a video on the DX80 where we had a look at the features and functionalities on paper. There was one thing missing and that was the product. But today I'm happy to say we have the product here. And now we're going to take a look at the features and functionalities. We're also going to talk about the physical design, just a little bit about pricing and finally how you can get your hands on this device or similar devices out there. So Timo, without further ado, welcome back to the show. Thank you. This is a good looking device. Um, yeah, it is. Can you talk a little bit about the physical design and what the thinking was behind this design? Of course, so Cisco started uh, by thinking about the device for all your collaboration and maybe even other workloads. But to achieve that, you might end up with a really complex device. Yeah. So, so the key thing we had in mind was to have a simple, kind of sexy device that you want to approach, you want to touch it, you want to start using it. Mm -hmm. Now, it is of course a beautiful device, but it's also quite slim and uh, the features, the, the physical features of this device has been designed beautifully. It's a slim device. Should we uh, take a look at the back side of this as well? Yeah. That's the, nor that's the part you normally forget when yeah. you do design. I mean, nowadays people are more money in an open office. Yeah. So the back side is going to be visible as well and it, it has to be approachable no matter what where you look at it. Oops, never, don't drop it. Don't drop it. <laughs> so uh, you have all the connectors behind this uh, small latch here. You have the HDMI's and USBs for external accessories like cameras or extra screens. Mm -hmm. um, you have the full HD camera here. Um, you have the speakers here for high quality audio. Um, and if you want to use, the, use it as an electronic drawing board, you just push it back and it tilts, tilts almost to the, to the desk. Wow. Uh, just push it back up and it jumps back up. Really, really cool. Now, of course, it doesn't hurt that it's a really good looking device as well. But let's look at the features and functionalities. Um, I do see a lot of buttons here, a call button, a contacts button and so on. Um, do you want to talk about this uh, for a minute? Yeah, sure. So there are a lot of buttons, but of course it's fully customizable. Yeah. So what we did was that as it's a touchscreen device, we wanted to uh, end up with an operating system that allows for full usage of the touchscreen, but also for full customization. And it's using Android. Android. Yes, Fantastic. exactly. So we went with Android, um, as we're doing with our other applications, uh, other devices as well, mm -hmm. and that brings us a lot of flexibility. So the default applications we have here is, of course, your favorite contacts. Uh, it's here. You can uh, customize it as, as the way you want. Um, you have your call button to make your video calls or your audio calls or receiving calls. Uh, of course, contacts, your favorite body list from your Jabber on your PC or Mac. Um, your meetings calendar, fully in sync with your Exchange or Gmail calendars. Um, you have your WebEx applications for web conferences. Of course, Jabber for IM and whatever functionalities you have. Cool. And, and, and this is just the home screen. And what you can do is you can move around in this virtual space and you can get things. Here's your inbox. Yeah. Right? So this is my corporate email and my corporate calendar. Now the question arises, why would I need a PC if I have something like this? Yeah, in, in some use cases you actually don't. So if your company is using a virtual desktop for your employees and, and you're use, used to using a thin client, for example, in your, in your desk and a screen, get rid of those. You don't need them anymore. Mm -hmm. You can use the DX endpoints as your uh, virtual desktop receiver. Wow. Now let's go back to the... Uh, the main screen here, uh, let's do some calling um, because I, I know everybody wants to see what the video conferencing experience is like. And here we have some missed calls. Yeah, somebody had called me from a meeting room. So to call them back, you know, just touch them and off you go. So now we're having a telepresence call to the meeting room CPURI that was in my call history. Cool. Now this is the image that you're going to get. and. Um, does this do, uh, this is point-to-point -point calling, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. This is a point-to-point -point call. Uh, you can do multi-point multi calls. You have all your advanced BPX, BPX features like putting calls on hold, having mid-calls mid or transferring calls or escalating to a multi-point call. Everything is there. So anything you're used to on your advanced PBX um, features and functionalities would be incorporated into this device as well. Cool. That's video conferencing. Now that's, that's a given. But if you go back to the home screen again, um, and we start looking at other things um, because there's some some you can actually access your PC if you wanted to. Yeah, exactly. And so use this as just a screen. Exactly. I mean, you have a beautiful screen here. Definitely, I want to use it as my screen. So I have a PC button here. What it does is just show my PC screen here. And then you can work on your magical Excel spreadsheet. Yeah, that's interesting always. <laughs> um, 
And to get back to my uh, Android screen, touch of a button, and I'm there. Now, this is of course used to, um, to improve your productivity. You will have a number of different applications. You, because it's Android, you can actually do things that would most likely ruin your productivity during the day. Let's take a look at the fun You part. always have to have a break, you know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you want to be able to listen to music from Google Music or Spotify, just download the app here. Check out your Facebook. At it. It's not only for fun. I mean, you do a lot of work in Facebook as well, as you probably know. Yeah. Angry Birds. I mean, never, never hurts to have a break and uh, kill some pigs in, in the meanwhile. So just go ahead and shoot them. Whoa, I had just cleared the level. So yeah, there we go. We can start uh, shooting birds. Oh, that must, must have hurt. Cool. Now, this is fantastic. But what about the pricing for this device? Uh, where are we? Yeah, so pricing-wise, um, previously we've had the EX devices, that means the executive experience, that kind of sets you a certain price level already when talking just an, uh, about sure. an executive device. The, the, the price level for those has been okay, but maybe a bit too high, mm -hmm. um, and that has limited the availability for that a bit. So what we did is, did is we created an endpoint that is more features, more functionalities than the EX devices, and dropped the price up to 60% of the list price. Wow. That's, I would say, rather aggressive. Okay. Now, you've seen the features, you've seen the functionalities. We talked a little bit about the price. And if you want to get your hands on one of these devices, what you need to do is to contact your Cisco partner um, and ask to be uh, able to get one of these uh, demo devices. Um, I highly recommend it because in this limited time and space of this video, we won't, of course, be able to show all the features and functionalities. It's going to be a long, boring video. Um, so stay tuned. For more videos from Baltic Edition, and do reach out to your Cisco partners. On my behalf, thank you very much for watching. See you guys.